generally I was a rebel and a pain in the neck on my way to being a sort of anarchist punk. Um, as a result of which, I was thrown out of Eton. But I, I left home shortly after that because uh, my home life wasn't very happy either. Uh, so I just sort of ended up on the streets, age 16, but staying with mates, living in squats, sofa surfing. That was my life for the next two or three years, really, just sort of living the sort of punk life, taking lots of drugs, drinking. I, you know, I was taking a lot of hallucinogenic drugs. Uh, into all this kind of weird, wacky magic. And I knew I needed to change. I, ne I knew I needed help, but I didn't really know. So I reached what alcoholics call rock bottom fairly quickly. So I'm Ravi Holy, vicar of Wye, which is a village between Ashford and Canterbury in Kent. And I've been vicar here for coming up to 12 years now. A few months after my 19th birthday, I was at a funeral of a friend of mine who'd died. In fact, not of, of drugs. He had a, an actual illness, but I, I had had another friend who died potentially because of uh, drug use. And I, I, that was really the point where I just thought, you know, my life is going nowhere. So my faith begins with, an exp with a transformative experience of God. So it, you know, it's not about it's not something purely theoretical. Um, it's certainly not about sort of being a good person or morality or social respectability. You know, completely the opposite. It, it's about you know coming to the end of yourself and discovering a, a, a reality that you know you can work with. Um, but I just kind of said, look, if there is anyone there, I could really do with some help right now. And in it, but in a way, it was just the, the guidance that I was, I mean, the, the thing that happened was that someone walked into the room, as I said this prayer, who had joined Alcoholics Anonymous, at, 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 you know, at the, in fact, at the, after the last funeral that I, I mentioned. And I had tried going to a meeting with him before, but hadn't really been interested. So the fact that he was the person who walked in then, it was like, well, that's what, that is what I've got to do. So I sort of went off to, one of these meetings and you know that was literally the turning point of my life I and mean, that was 33 and a half years ago now and I, I haven't had a drink or taken any drugs since that moment and I've also you know that's when God came into my life and has never gone away. <laughs>